Hey there, everybody. It's Jibo here. How y'all doing? Me, how I'm doing? I'm a little bit hurried. That's how I'm doing. I was sitting here. I was about to prop my feet up, going to take a break, have a little lunch. And then I said, well, let me see how long I got. I got a little less than four hours to get this job done. This is going to be my next. This will be Christmas delivery number five. And I'm sitting here going, huh. You know what I think I need to do? I think I need to quit picking these jobs and then forgetting about them for 10 or 12 hours, you know? I think that would be a good thing for me to do. So anyway, we need to get this job going. We're going to go from Yuma to Ehrenberg. So let's go ahead and pull up the map. So Y'all see we're going to be in Yuma here. It's a nice short one. It ain't going to take long. Going to be in Yuma... And then we're going to go up here to Ehrenberg. It's a nice short one. Shouldn't take too long at all. The distance is, well, I'm sorry, our distance that we got to go is only uh, 1,200 yards because we got to go over here just right across the street. We're here at the uh, Walgreens, and we're going to go across the street to Walmart and pick up our trailer. It looks like it's in the back of the place. So we're going to pick it up, and then we're going to take off to head on down. i tell you what we will do, too. Let's head on over this way. Well, we'll do that after. Whenever we come back out and we head over there, we're going to pick up whatever this place is. Because it looks like it's another truck dealer. So we'll see. All righty, folks. Let's go out here and let's get driving. Get my mouse. So every time I get the cord out of the way, so every time I shift gears, I don't send the mouse flying across the room. Oh, that's a pretty place. I can't wait till we get up in Oregon and Washington and get up into territory like that and get to see all those big old trees and the campsites and all that kind of stuff. That's going to be so pretty. going to be so nice. All righty. Let me get my little camera sitting there. Get it sitting nice and close. Make sure it's not about to tumble off the chair or anything. First thing we'll do is get it adjusted. Why is it raining again? All righty. Well, they've taken the trailer away from me, so let's go ahead. Route. Let's crank her up. Please proceed to highlight. All right. Route. Looks like we're gonna have a a downright thunderstorm for the first part of it here, ain't we? Get this off the screen. And like I said, we're gonna go straight across here. Cut our lights on. Cut our wipers on. And let's bob tail it on over to Walmart. Once again, hope y'all having a good one and all that. For me, it's a little bit strange, because for me, it ain't been but just a little while. Turn right. All right, anything coming? Don't see nothing. For me, it ain't been but just a little while since I did that last mission. It's probably been less than 12 hours here. So I'm getting a t getting a twofer here. I'm getting two done in one day. In 200 yards, turn left. I'm wondering if World of turn Trucks has an left. achievement for that. I don't know if they do. I know they got achievements for just about everything else. All right, let's stop here. Boy, that rain is pouring on down. I right, take a look. I don't know if I got the. Uh, I don't know if I got the, the realistic rain mod put in here or not, or whether this is vanilla. It may be vanilla. There's the Tesla. I'm wondering if we're going to get Tesla trucks at some part. You know, the end game name is, uh, I think, Voltar, Voltonic, or something like that. The end world name for it. But here they change it to Tesla. Turn right. I'm a turning. You Let's have see where we're gonna go. It looks like I'm wondering if it's around behind back behind the building. That's kind of what it looks like. Why don't we go back there and take a look? If not, there's plenty of room we can turn around. It looks like it's over there on the other side of the building. So we may have to end up turning around as it is. Is there a road around this side, or is this coming to a dead end with the loading docks? No. 
It looks like we can circle all the way around. This is a big distribution center. Look at all those bays there to drop it into. And this is probably the way we should have come anyway. If you're gonna, gonna fail, fail beautifully. I guess we'll know when we get up here and we see which way the hitch. Yep, it's pointed the other way, so this is the way we should have come anyway. This is the way the traffic flows around here. We ain't never seen one of these trailers from the rear like this before. Let's take a look at it as we go by. Yep, it's just as pretty up the butt as it is from the front. Now then, let's see if we can get on up here. We're going to have to back it up and couple it up in the rain. That part won't be bad. It's just going to be getting out there and locking the kingpin and put, cutting up all the Susies and doing the walkthrough. Doing the walk around. That part's going to be a pain in the butt. Now, let's see if I can do this without jinking my head around too much. I'd rather not reset that camera right at the moment. Yep, didn't quite do it. Didn't quite get it on there. Let's pull it on forward a little bit. Let's see if we can line it up a little better this time. See, there we go with that little head shaking again. Still ain't getting it. Do I need to come over this way a little? I think I do. There we go. Root. Boy, you gotta Please be right on target. To highlighted route. All right, let's hop out. Let's take a look at where we gotta go now. Let's pull up the Rand McNally. And I'm gonna put in a save here, too. Just in case the wife calls or something like that and says, Hey, I need you to come do something. All right, so we will definitely come over here and hit that little place. It, they're predicting two hours and 51 minutes in game time. It shouldn't take nearly that long in real life. We got anything else up here we got to hit? Nothing, nothing, nothing. And Ehrenberg ain't got nothing in it, does it? Ain't got nothing at all. All right, let's look at our sleep. And let's look at our fuel before we head out of here. Calculating route. Let's Please pull this proceed up. to highlighted route. Sleep is real good and we're totally full of fuel. So I think we might be able to be able to get this done without any kind of uh we might be able to do it without having to take a stop anywhere. Depending on the speed. Boy, this looks like this might be a bugger to get out of the I didn't take a look. What time is it? It is. Oh, rush hour. 5.16 p.m. Oh, my God. And I bet they're wanting us to make a left-hand turn, too, ain't they? They sure is. They want us to come out of here and go up that way. Oh, my Lord. It might be easier to go around. Let's turn on our blinkers. Oh my God, look at all the traffic. Wow. That is impressive. Okay. Well, that shows how crappy this kind of stuff is whenever you got rush hour traffic going on. Huh. Well, I said we might turn to the right and go around. That seriously might be the quicker way of doing all this. I wish Walmart had another exit over here. And it's another case. I don't know if this is uh, traffic from... I have to check a look and see if the, the realistic traffic mods in here too. I don't know if this is vanilla rush hour 
or if this is rush hour coming from a mod I put in there that, you know, increases the traffic and all. Oh yeah, that's right. Have all this other stuff coming the other way. Let's take a look. I'm gonna go here. Does that road circle all the way around? It does. We're gonna circle around. Because we ain't never gonna get out any other way. We ain't never gonna get out of here if we wait for all that traffic. So let's come on out. Turn left. And we're clearing that gate. Whoa, 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 whoa. We didn't quite clear it, did we? Oh lord, did we take calculating route. Okay, we did. I thought we had lost the trailer there for a second. It bounced that trailer so hard, I thought we had lost the trailer. Thought it'd come off. I didn't hear no dings or anything, so I don't think we did any damage to it. But once we get out of town, we'll pull it up and we'll take a look and see, just to be sure. Let's turn the whole, as far over this way as we can without hitting nobody. So we don't drag that trailer across those poles there. There we go. And she recalculated my route, so I don't have to worry about that either. Something I'm thinking of is I might not go over there and get that, depending on the traffic. If the traffic looks like it's crappy and it's going to be hard to get in and out of that place, whatever it is, we might avoid taking that little detour while we're at it, too. Now, we should be able to make a right-hand turn better than we did a left-hand turn. Unless everybody in front of us is going to make a left. Because we already see don't nobody leave no spaces for nobody to get out or anything. Oh, me, oh, my. It's going to be bad if our... If our shortest trip, shortest deliveries we've done so far takes us longer than the long one did because we can't get out. Good, I actually noticed the rain has stopped that time. And it's a clear sky, it's all nice and pretty. Good. I just hope everybody in front of me ain't trying to make a left, that's all. I don't know why everybody wants to go that way. It's just as good going right, guys. There's a lot prettier scenery going right. Turn right. Prettier girls. Nicer food. Smoother traffic. I'm sitting here trying to drive and trying to pull my steering wheel back to me because I was stepping on the brake and sliding it across the floor. All right. Yep. I'll bet if we were sitting over there on that other side, we'd still be sitting there waiting to make that left. Let's go ahead and stop so they can't get us on like a... making a California stop here at that stop sign. I don't know if you get tickets for that, but I don't want to test it. Now, let's head on down this way. Yep, see the traffic still backed up there. It ain't cleared out yet. We wouldn't have got out of there yet. So that's good. That's very good. Look at that rush hour traffic. Yeah, we'd still be sitting there waiting to make a left-hand turn. So very good. Now we just got to decide if we're going to take that little detour or not. Now I'm going to pull up the map. And we were going to look at something. What were we going to look at? I don't remember. We were going to look at something besides just that little detour right there. But now I don't remember what it was. So never mind. We'll just get back to it. Can I see the light? Can't quite see the light over there. So I don't know which way. Oh, there we go. 
Come on. Come on. That gonna give us a give us a go now. There we go. Yeah, I can tell you that my first couple of I already know what my first two upgrades are gonna be. I am definitely gonna get a more powerful engine and get me a better transmission. So we got a little bit more oomph from when we we're trying to pull stuff here. Now, traffic's looking better. Not looking quite as bad as it did that other direction. So I'm thinking we might still be able to do that detour we were thinking about. Just don't weather over the line too much there. When we get up here to the turn, that'll be the what decides it. Let's look here. We've got much traffic coming. Nope, there's not a lot of traffic coming. So I think we will. I think we'll go down there, pull into whatever that place was, and then come back this way after we put it on our map. Let's see what kind of dealership it is, because I'm sure it is one. Let's hammer on through this. It's a Peterbilt. Oops, and the truck Please headquarters. Make a U -turn. We're safe. There's a truck headquarters here too, so now we know where the U Yuma truck headquarters is. Come on. Come on out. There you go, cop. I wanna come on in here. Peterbilt truck dealer discovered. Let's make a big U-turn through the service center here. And we'll get back out there on the road, and then it's uh, on the way up to where we headed, Ellenburg, is that where it is? I think that's where it is. We can come on up here, and we are slowly filling in some of this map. No, I don't want to stop the engine. Right, that was pretty good, uh, pretty good almost jackknife back there. We're whooping it up a little bit. If somebody were to be seeing us, they'd be going, look at him whooping it up in the parking lot over there. Well, we ain't whooping it up. We're just trying to get turned around and get out of here. And yeah, now everybody that was trying to make a left over yonder decides they're going to go right over here, aren't you? Uh, of course you Oh, my God. All right. This calls for emergency measures. Weren't none of y'all here a second ago. When I pulled in, there wasn't nobody. So we're gonna have to kind of force our way out, I'm afraid. Look at that traffic and it just keeps backing up. It just keeps backing up. We're gonna have to see if we can find us a, there we go. I think little blue car there. I think little blue car is going to be a good Samaritan let us on out of here. Are you going to pull up and ram into us? Are you going to win my Idiot of the Year award? The nominations are still open if you're wanting to nominate yourself, Hyundai. I got to turn right there. I just got to go right there. That's the only place I got to go, right there. What is that down there? What are y'all doing? Who am I? Why am I in this basket? It's amazing. The kind of measures we've had to go to just to get out of town. Whoo, boy. But yeah, there's the other truck corner, so if we ever want one in Yuma, here's where the trucking is. And now we know we don't ever want one in Yuma, because good lord, is this a pain in the butt. Especially with all this traffic here. At least we ain't never got to go that way. Look how far they backed up. Them brother truckers back yonder are having a bad day. But they don't know the switch on your blinkers trick like I do. And 
I would leave this open, but there ain't nobody gonna be coming in and out of there, you know? Now, I said we weren't gonna need any sleep time, and I said we weren't gonna need any gas, but we might need both before we get out of town. This is crazy. Don't ever get stuck in rush hour traffic, folks. And you know, honest to God, this is what rush hour traffic here in Atlanta is like. This is why I hate, 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 hate going or anywhere in the big town. I try and do my best stick around the outskirts if I can. I hate going into the big town. And I just drive a car. If I was driving one of these big rigs, oh, my life would be miserable. But you know what? Even right there, we'd still be sitting over there at the Walmart trying to make a left. You bumping around there, B. I'm gonna have a little drink of my coffee out of my Hobbit cup there while we're waiting. Oh my God. Oh, I had to stomp on that one. Boy, these people in these four-wheelers, let me tell you, all you people driving your four-wheelers out there and slamming on brakes in front of these semis and all, y'all just don't know how dangerous you got it. Cause you, you Mercedes, ain't you? Yep, I see that little snooty emblem on your butt there. You'd have had a heck of a repair bill if my brakes hadn't held up just then. All right, folks. No, no accidents. Don't nobody run into nobody. Go. Go, 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 go. Can y'all do that? Y'all can, but I ain't gonna make it. I would've got a ticket if I would've ran that light. But you know what I am gonna do? I'm gonna pull it on up here. Now that I stopped. Anybody coming? Yep, y'all are. And I killed it again. Let's see if we can ride on red on out of here once these boys get out of the way. Y'all just gonna sit there? Alrighty. Y'all sit there, I'm gonna pull on out. Whew, alrighty, we are back on path, people. I don't think we even gotta get on the interstate. But we gotta sit behind this darn fool gold Mercedes again. That part ain't gotten any better. I wish my radio wasn't broken. It'd play y'all some music. Instead, I just have to sing your song. Oh, don't you want to get run over in my Mercedes, girl? Yeah, all you gotta do is slam on your brakes again in front of that big white truck. Get in my bins. Oh, I just realized I can't remember all the words to I like big butts anymore. I'm gonna have to listen to that as soon as I get somewhere and stop and pull up my little laptop. I'm gonna have to sit there and watch watch uh, I like big butts and that's no lie. That's a nice little truck. I like that little truck. I'm in the market for a little truck right now. I'm planning on getting me one probably about time my birthday rolls around. I mean in real life. It's about time I became a truck man. I've been trying for a number of years, but my, my wife just didn't. She was in that situation where she just like, like, no, we don't need no truck. You know, this, that, and the other, but. Now that she's decided we're gonna do a whole bunch of landscaping on the back of the house, she decided that a truck will come in handy. And then you add to that, you know, I told y'all that I helped my son move. And once we helped him move and she got a kind of a taste for that big old truck we were driving, we were driving this big old long ass Tacoma with an extended bed and the whole four door crew cab and all that. And 
she decided she liked it. She liked being, feeling like the, the queen of the road type of thing. So I think her opinion on trucks has changed dramatically. The only thing is, I gotta make sure I get one that fits in my garage. So we'll have to see how that's gonna work out for us. Now, 55 miles an hour up through here. Fairly straight road. Wow, it's pretty out here. Man, those fields just stretch out forever, don't they? <laughs> 